Torah says, Moshe Ola Elo Elohim, Vayikra Elo Vashem Inahar, Lemar Kosomar Leves Yaakov Vesagel Yivdei Yisrael. Kosh Baruch Hu calls to Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu goes up to the mountain, and then the Kosh Baruch Hu calls to him, and Shmos Perik Yudates Pasuk Dalet. So, we have the women of Klai Yisrael are referred to as Beis Yaakov, which is the reason why the Beis Yaakov movement, movement was named Beis Yaakov. And the women are addressed first. The Farshim say that it was a schus for the women, that the women beschus the women who got Klai Yisrael out of the tribe, therefore the women are addressed first. That's what part of the reward is. And Rashi points out that the word kosomar le Beis Yaakov, tomar, Somar is a softer lashon. The sagid of the Yisrael, the sagid is a harsher, stronger lashon. But the men need to be spoken to in a more harsh way than the women do. So the question becomes, the Beis Yaakov, the idea of the women being called Beis Yaakov, why is that? Why are the women called the House of Yaakov? And one of the approaches here is, that first of all, the women are spoken to first because once you get the wife on board, you get the women on board, the men are going to follow. And the conscientiousness of women is such that the women are entrusted with any of the physical mitzvahs of Klai Yisrael, kashras in the home, and, and, and family life. It's entrusted to the women because they do have a higher sense of duty and they seem to be more conscientious and more loyal to doing things the way they have to do it, no matter how difficult it is, whereas men seem to have a bigger Yetzirah, and therefore it's the wife that's entrusted with these areas, number one. Number two, the wife is called a Beis Yaakov, which brings us a very important principle. The, uh, um, the Bali Musr say there are two types of medications that can be taken. There's one medication, which is a bitter pill that has to be swallowed, or bitter tasting medicine. That is the Torah, the mitzvahs, Torah study, putting on tefillin, doing all the active mitzvahs, which is the role of the men. A woman is the Beis Yaakov. Now what that means is as follows. How does a woman grow? There's a very interesting halacha brought down in the Menchus Chinuch. A woman who has learned Kola Torah Kula. Imagine a lady who's learned Kola Torah Kula. How she learned it, I don't know. Maybe she has a Gilgal. I don't know exactly. She knows Kola Torah Kula. If she walks into a room, there's no chiyuv to stand up for her. A woman's growth is not through the books. She has to know her halachas, and she can certainly study certain areas of Torah, but there's not how she grows, and there's no concept of a talmidah chachama. That does not exist. However, a woman who is married to a man who is a talmid chacham, and the only book that she knows is the big book of Jewish cooking, it's the only book she knows, if a woman like that walks into the room, there's a chiv to stand up for such a woman. Why is that? Because the woman grows parallel to her husband. So if a man is a Talmud Chacham, Chazal say, Eishes Chover Gechover, the wife of a Talmud Chacham, has Talmud Chacham status. By living with the Talmud Chacham, in close proximity to the Talmud Chacham, his outlook and his way of thinking and his behavior, the wife absorbs that and that is reflected in her own behavior. In Mimele, she is called an Eishes Chover. Beis Yaakov, the Beforshim, compared to a different type of medication. There are certain people who have to sometimes be put into a room, and there's a vapor, a medicated vapor, or oxygen, or something else that the patient has to sit in the room and has to breathe it in and absorb it. The woman is called Beis Yaakov because she breathes in what the husband, the Tan Chacham, brings into the home. The wife brings it in, and when she, she breathes in what he brings into the home. And therefore, the women are called Beis Yaakov because that is the primary growth for a woman. The primary growth for a woman is not going to be by studying and scholarship per se. The primary gro- growth for a woman is going to be that she is living with the Talmud Chacham and that she absorbs the inf- influence that he brings into the home. On the other hand, the woman is called the home. There's one of the Amorim said, I never called my wife my wife. It loved me, Olam lo karasi li ishti ishi. Ishti, Karazili, Ishti, Basi. She is my home. So there seems to be some sort of rebound effect where the husband affects the wife with what he brings into the home. The wife then brings back that effect into the home, which creates the home environment. And it brings the couple together to raise children who are B'nai Torah.